What is up is the Fit Gear Hunter, and today we are going to do an in-depth review for the Koros Heart Rate Monitor Armband, looking at both the accuracy when compared to a chest strap, as well as talking functionally about how it works and also how it compares to the Polar Verity Sense, another common optical heart rate sensor armband. So if you like this review, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing for more. I test devices for higher intensity interval training for wellness and recovery, for training load. I don't just say a feature, I try to make sure to compare it competitively to others on the market. And all my reviews are no frills because I have to focus my time on content. So the Koros armband, the heart rate monitor armband has been out for a while, but I just got my hands on one. And I am a huge proponent of external heart rate monitors. When you're doing a workout, number one, you can take your watch off, you don't get it scuffed up in a workout. Number two, you don't have to worry about it being in the way with wrist wraps or hand wraps. Number three, you get valuable information out and all these watches today provide training analytics. You have to have accurate heart rate to be able to get quality training analytics. So we're gonna test this, we're gonna put it to the test. So it's two parts to this review. Number one, looking at it and just sort of evaluating the functionality of this as a device and how it works and comparing it to the Polar Verity Sense. And number two, testing it across multiple workouts, seeing the charts overlaid across versus an ECG chest strap looking at the correlation graph and the accuracy there, and then comparing it head to head with workout accuracy to the polar verity sense. So with that, let's dive in. All right, so looking at the chorus armband, um, it is super simple. And I'm gonna talk about this in great detail because I think this is actually a big deal. It's just a simple, it is USB, uh, just traditional old school USB cord, it charges. And there's a lot to say that's super good about this. And I'm super critical of devices. Um, number one, it's got 38 hours of use. That is a ton of use. That is like weeks of use if you're just doing an hour at a time for a class. But more than that, it's just when you put it on your arm, it just picks up that there's flesh and starts tracking. There's no button to turn on. You don't have to tell it you're there. It just it is so, 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 so functionally useful. And then we'll see the accuracy in a second. But if you were to compare this, to the Polar Verity Sense, you know, number one, the Verity Sense has this little piece that pops out. So if you're a swimmer, that maybe is great, but to me, that that's not great. That's I don't really appreciate that. And then there's three settings. You can obviously have a store of stuff, you can do it for swimming, and you can just do it for heart rate projection. So it's gonna project to a device here. So it's got settings, fine. I don't like that. It always makes me sort of feel insecure that I'm gonna put it on the wrong thing. And we'll obviously compare this in accuracy to the chorus armband, because the accuracy is gonna be a big determinant, but this whole deal and charge, you know, I think it has, I, I don't know, I want to say like 15 hours of charge on it. Um, I'm saying I'm, I'm getting about like seven hour long workouts out of this and the band is fine. It feels fine, but there's nothing that feels as comfortable as this. This just feels perfect. It slides all around. It's easy to adjust. This is a freaking awesome design device. And I just think for me, Get that junk out of here before we test the accuracy you can see who's the winner of accuracy for me just the fact that you put it on your flesh and it just recognizes that there's something there and just starts projecting and then on top of it not to mention all that there's three bluetooth channels you can connect to three devices i connect this thing to multiple multiple things at the same time and it just works it, it works i just just a beautiful fantastic device i could not give more kudos to Koros for how it's designed, for the simplicity. I mean, super, super comfortable. This, the fact that it just slides on and then all of a sudden it's just it just knows you're there, so it starts tracking and it connects to three different devices, easy charge and super long battery life. Okay, so as I said, I cannot say enough good things about the functional simplicity and effective design of the Koros heart rate armband. It is easy, it is comfortable, It, I mean, it. It, it uh, having tested a bunch of different devices, this actually sort of blows me away because it's just so simple. You just put it on, it automatically turns on, it connects to multiple devices, it always connects to those multiple devices. It just works and you don't have to think about powering it off or powering it on. It's just, it's genius. But does it track heart rate accurately? That is a primary question because if it doesn't do that then it's not worth anything and there have been questionable reviews that I've seen so we're going to track the accuracy and I think you're going to be super surprised with the results we're going to look at the charts 
and then a correlation graph of the standalone device compared to an ECG chest trap. Then we're going to look at it head to head on a multiple of workouts versus the Verity Sense to see which one looks more accurate, as well as the correlation final results. With that, let's dive in. All right, so first we're going to look at the charts of how the Coros band compared to a chest trap. Coros is always going to be in red. So Coros, the heart rate monitor band, is going to be in red. This is a steady state workout, not super intense. I just wanted to compare it. It looks perfect. Um, CrossFit workout, basically perfect. You see red more than you see the underlying blue. Same thing. Uh, fractional delay on the most intense portion of the back half. Fractional delay on the second most intense portion. And a little bit of delay on the lifting portion, as well as in one of the uh, repeats in the Metcon. Uh, relative perfect, you know, just one little bobble at one point in the Metcon itself. Here, just slight delay on some of the lifting in the later parts, but everything else relatively perfect. And same thing with just the lifting in the front end, as well as the repeating rounds looks perfect. Um, everything in each of these just looks like awesome. Just looks fantastic. I mean, it really captured truly the bulk of the cardiovascular strain. I mean, at a super high level accuracy, like this is fantastic. So now we look at correlation, just beat for beat, a diagonal line up the middle would be perfect agreement with the ECG heart rate monitor chest strap. So it comes in at 0.958, but you can see the concentration of dots across the diagonal. This is exceptionally good. Um, 0.958 is an exceptionally good correlation number, but more than that is just how correlate, how just how perfect graphs look. And if we were to really compare it versus the previous, what I thought was the best armband optical heart rate sensor, the Verity Sense, we compare some similar workouts. So here's the Coros, this is the Coros band in red, and then now the Verity Sense. You see the Verity Sense has more delay and slight less accuracy. Again, the Coros band. And then the very sense, very sense missing some of the true peaks and really not picking up exactly all the accuracy. Here, the Coros band really just overlapped across the ECG chest strap. And then the very sense, just a delay, just not exactly right on top of things and just more noise to it. Here, the Coros band in one of the harder workouts um, that it did less accurately versus the very sense, which is considerably inaccurate, considerably missed on a lot of parts, especially the first part of the Metcon, as well as some of the harder lifting portions. So if we compare the correlation graph, same 0.958 on the Coros armband, and then you have 0.9248 on the Verity Sense, and you just see like it, it is a different looking graph. It just, the Coros heart rate monitor armband is a superior device in not just the heart rate accuracy, but in the functionality of it as well. Okay, so looking at all that, what do we say when we step back from everything I just shared? It's an awesome design, probably the best design of any heart rate monitor I've tested to date. It functions, it works super well, it's comfortable, it doesn't get in the way, it's easy, it has super long battery life, and on top of it all, it's highly, highly, highly accurate for the most intense type workouts. This is a new top product recommendation, top product favorite. This is an awesome device. So I would suggest everybody in the world go get one. I mean, it's just more comfortable. I don't, I'm getting tired of wearing chest straps because it's just much more felt. This, you just don't feel it and it works. It, I mean, you're basically getting 98% accuracy, which is plenty accurate for the analytics that are out there on the market today with watches. So that's the final review and in-depth review for the Coros heart rate armband, as well as the accuracy testing in comparison to the Polar Verity Sense. It's the Figure Hunter. Thanks so much for watching.